In the given system of equations, r is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of r? So we have these two lines right here. We'll call them equation 1 and equation 2. And we need to find a value of r such that this system of equation has no solution. And a system of equation of two lines has no solution when the lines are distinct and parallel. So say this line is line 1 and this one is line 2 on the xy plane. These lines here, they're parallel and they're distinct, meaning that their y-intercepts are different. So these two lines will never intersect, which means they have no solution. So we need to make sure that these two lines after we plug in the value of r, we need to find a value of r such that the slopes are different on these two lines so that they never intersect, meaning this so that there's no solution. So the first equation we have, let's write it in the form y equals mx plus b. So we can do that by moving this 48x to the other side. So we'll be left with negative 72y equals negative 48x plus 30y plus 24. So we just subtracted negative 48x from both sides. And then let's move the 30y to the other side by subtracting 30y from both sides. So on the left, we'll be left with 102y equals negative 48x plus 24. And then let's get y alone. So let's divide both sides by negative 102. So on the left, we'll be left with just y. Then we'll have a negative 48 over a negative 102x, and then 24 over negative 102. OK, so now we have the first equation, equation 1, in the form y equals mx plus b. So this is in the form y equals mx plus b. m is negative 48 over negative 102, and b is 24 over negative 102. So now let's write the second equation in terms of, in, a, in the form y equals mx plus b. So, so we have ry equals 1 sixth minus 16x. So let's divide both sides by r so that we get y isolated. So when we do that, the left-hand side will just have a y, and then this will be 1 over 6r minus 16 over r times x. Okay, so now we have this equation in the form y equals mx plus b as well. The m this, t this time is just negative. And in order for these two equations to have no solution, they need to be parallel, which means the slopes need to be the same. So the slope of the first equation is 48 over 102. The negative divided by negative is just a positive. And that needs to be equal to the slope of this, the second equation, which is negative 16 over r. So now we can just solve for the value of r. So we can cross multiply. So multiplying the corners. So 48r equals negative 16 times 102. So that means 48r equals, if we get out our calculator, 16 times 102 is 1,632. And this will be negative, since the 16 was negative. And then we can divide both sides by 48 to find the value of r. So 1,632 divided by 48 is equal to 34. And this will be negative, since the 1,632 was negative. So negative 34. So for an r value of negative 34, these two equations have no solution because they will be distinct and parallel lines. Negative 34. We know they're distinct because 
1 over 6 times negative 34 is not equal to 24 over negative 102. So that means that they have different y-intercepts. But the slopes, when we plug in a value of negative 34 as r, the slopes will be the same. So they'll be parallel lines. So r equals negative 34.